everyone. For now, I'm Faith here with Nurture in Christ. Nurture in Christ. Train up a child in the way they should go. Nurture in Christ. And when they get old, they shall not depart from it. Nurture in Christ. Empower, inspire, educate. Nurture in Christ. Nurture in Christ. Hi, we're at Pumpkin Fest in Toronto. 2016. Ooh, is that a pumpkin? We're about to go in this pumpkin maze back here and then we're gonna make the rounds. Ooh. Good times, y'all. <laughs> Good job. We're so excited for the parents. 
I know, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try it? How about we wait our turn, okay? Hi, beautiful! <laughs> we are at the zoo! They have some sort of like pumpkin event going on today. <laughs> say hi, Faye! You gonna say hi? <laughs> so cute. Star Wars pumpkins. <laughs> May the force be with you. Harry Potter pumpkins. Pirate pumpkins. <laughs> Outer space pumpkins. And finding Nemo pumpkins. <laughs> Baby, do you see the camels and the deer? <laughs> Are you waving? Hi, horse. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Look at there. She keeps moving. Look at you guys. Maddie. Maddie. Look. Hi, girls. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> See? You just need to get out. Mom? Hi, yeah. you. Did you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. There's a gazillion people here. You see it? Yeah. Something about they can't be in the same because the male will hurt the baby. One of them. And one of them must be in here. So they have to separate. I didn't know that. Um, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, the giraffes are coming. Oh, honey. <laughs> wow, did you see them running? Look at them running. Hakuna Matata. Super cute. Look at them running. Hi, Hakuna. 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 You want to stand up? Ooh, she's beautiful. You see it? Yeah. Whoa. Lion. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. You see the lion? Yeah. Baby's looking at the lion. Hey, what sound does a lion make? What sound does a lion make? <laughs> Good girl. All right, so this week's vlog is all about pumpkin fun. When I think about pumpkin, think about harvesting and what, what it means to harvest. If we think in the physical realm, we can think of a plant or a farmer planting crops and seeds and tomatoes and corn and yielding um, the fruit of their labor at the designated time, harvest. Um, we can think of eating healthy, exercising, and yielding a fit, healthier body. If we think of going to work or going to school, we can think of are we meeting all of our responsibilities, hang, handing in work on time, studying, researching, doing all the things that we're supposed to be doing, in which case at a designated time will yield good grades, will yield a great performance review, and um, hopefully job satisfaction. <laughs> Sometimes we tend to not think about the connection between spiritually sowing into our lives like spending time in prayer spending time reading the Bible going to church connecting with other fellow believers and doing things um, to build up our relationship with Christ and to connect with him on a deep level as opposed to just waking up and saying a superficial prayer in the morning while you're showering you're like thank you Jesus for this day please guide me direct me bless me in Jesus name amen or saying thank you Lord for this food and then just eating really quickly, but not really actually talking to him and actually trying you know, develop a meaningful relationship with him and trying to learn his word and, and trying to understand his will for your life. Those are the kind of things that you can do to spiritually sow into your life. In Galatians 6, 7, Paul says, do not be deceived for whatever a man 
sow it that he shall also reap and i mean that's like me paraphrasing but don't be fooled if you don't spend the time investing into your life spiritually you're not going to grow and become strengthened spiritually i want to remind you that living to please our flesh leads to sin and leads to corruption and we end up spending money and time and resources pouring into things that have nothing to do with god's will for our life and usually end up with us feeling depleted exhausted burnt out and unhappy if you can sow spiritually into your life, not only will it lead to eternal life, like we're told in Galatians 6, 8, but it will also yield the fruits of the Spirit. And you'll have a happier, whole, joy-filled life filled with purpose because you took the time to feed into what actually matters. So I encourage you today to spiritually sow into your life by doing those things like praying and reading your Bible and spending time with God. And then don't forget about others. So after you um, are receiving the blessings in the physical realm and the spiritual realm, share that with others. Pray for others, encourage others, hug others, and love on each other the way that Christ asked us to. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button to let us know that you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already done so, please share, please subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in the next vlog. Thank you and have a wonderful, blessed day.